So first of all, I have to give you this concept of what is an index? What is an index? Why, 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 why is an index an important thing for Google to search? So let me start with the general concept of an index, and then we're going to go down into details about the particular Google type of index. So an index in general. You've seen indexes, right? Turn to the back of any book and you'll see an index. What's the index in the back of the book? The index in the back of the book is a set of phrases, terms we call them, terms in the index. And each of those terms or phrases is, uh, it has different page numbers next to it, right? So it'll say Google, page 43, 96, 123, uh, 280, 282. So that's a book index. It's an alphabetical list of terms with page numbers after it. Right? So you got that? That's just commonplace. But I want you to keep that in mind because it's a really good way to understand indexes. And as we go further and further with indexes, you'll see that they get less and less usual, less and less what you've heard of before. But they'll never lose that fundamental idea of a set of alphabetical terms and where those terms can be found, what that term describes. Okay, so that's a book index. Um, we saw earlier in the course this idea of an index, which is on the right-hand side here of the, uh, of the slide. That we called, uh, um, that we called uh, uh, a tag cloud before. And that tag cloud is a series of words. And each of those words, if you clicked on them, would take you to the place where that word is applied, where that word makes sense, where that word is what, um, what you'd expect to see. So if I click on strategy, I would expect to see all the places where strategy is discussed, where strategy is defined, where strategy is the main subject. Okay, notice how that's very different presentation than the book index, but actually doing exactly the same thing. We have a set of phrases. In this case, they're not alphabetical. They're, they're organized kind of in an interesting configuration, but it's serving really the same purpose. Uh, and, and when you click on any one of those, you'll go to the places where it's mentioned. You'll go to the important places that it, um, that it has to do with. The third one is a drop-down list of what's called here categories. And notice that once again, they're alphabetized. And when you click on one of those, you would expect to be talking about specifying, saying, I want information about the term that you clicked on. So in each of these three cases that I showed here, we have a set of phrases, a set of words, and those words or phrases link you to the place that, the place that is, has more description. Okay, so those are some examples. Let me now give you a definition of an index. In all cases, an index really has two things, an alphabetical or numerical list, and notwithstanding the fact that one of them I showed you before isn't alphabetical in the vast, vast majority of cases, and for us, we're going to say that they're alphabetical. So they're an alphabetical or numerical. It can be like a date index where it has date, 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 date in some kind of numerical order, and you click on the date and you go to things that are from that date. An alphabetical or numerical list with links back to information that's described by that term. So that applies to the book index, that applies to any web index that we'll see. And in fact, as you'll see in a minute, it's going to also apply to the Google type of index. So that's an index. It's an alphabetical or numerically sorted list in alphabetical or numerical order with links, with pointers, with something that takes you to the places in the information that are described by that word or phrase. Okay, that's the idea of an index. All right, now let's go specifically to the Google type of index. Can you, can you get the idea just in general that suppose Google was a person and you ask Google to say, hey, you know, tell me all the places where uh, arachnids are mentioned. And it would go into its index and it would look under the A's for arachnids and it would, be, it would have all the pointers to all the places. And in this case, they're not page numbers, obviously. They're web pages. They're links to web pages. Right? So you can see how that's a logical way for Google to go about doing what it does, to have a giant index of all the, all the words on the web and, how they all, and where they all are located so that when you ask it about a particular word, it can take you to those different places. It can put up links to all those different places. Of course, we're going to see that it's far more sophisticated than that and far more complex than that, but the basic idea really holds. That is the general idea. It's got an index, just like the index in the back of the book. And that index that Google has is going to allow it to answer your questions about, I want information on X on the web. All right, now looks